What's going on, everybody? Uh, I just got done seeing one of my most anticipated, actually not my most anticipated, one of, it's my most anticipated film of this whole entire year. Uh, and that is Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Uh, this movie has a runtime of two hours and 14 minutes. It is once again directed by David Yates, who directed, uh, if you don't know, he directed Fantastic Beast 1. He also directed Harry Potter, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2. Uh, this was movie was written by J.K. Rowling, who, of course, created the Harry Potter world. And, you know, she wrote all the books. And then she has been writing these screenplays for the Fantastic Beast movies, which are, I think, is so cool of her um and this movie stars eddie redmayne katherine watterson dan fogler ezra miller johnny depp and jude law um so there's a lot in this movie uh this movie is you know very compact with material it some people might say it's convoluted some people might say you know it's a little boring some people might say it's hard to follow it's really not uh, you know, this movie is not as hard to follow as people's making up be. Yeah, they change some of the stuff, like, um, you know, a port key, you go to this one guy. But then again, they answered a question that I had from Goblet of Fire of how do you make a port key? You know, stuff like that. And, you know, of course there's going to be shady people like that in this world. Uh, this movie also, you know, expanded the universe more, or the world more than, you know, I thought it was going to. You know, Fantastic Beasts, these are prequels to Harry Potter, so Fantastic Beasts was kind of, the first one was kind of its own thing. It didn't really tie into the, you know, Harry Potter, you know, movies at all. It just, you just knew it was in the world, because they mentioned Dumbledore and Hogwarts twice in that movie. But this one, this one, it really links up and you can tell everything because Dumbledore shows up and Jude Law as Dumbledore is fantastic. Uh, he is by far the second best person to ever portray Dumbledore. Um, the guy that portrayed him from Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban, throughout all of those, I think he will always be my favorite actor to portray him. But Jude Law is definitely uh, my second favorite actor to portray him because there's been three. Uh, Johnny Depp as Grindelwald is fantastic also, but we'll get to him. So, you know, Dumbledore, of course he wasn't in this movie as much as I would have liked him to be, but that's normal, you know, I totally understood why he wasn't, because he wasn't caught up in all the action. But at the same time, I also kind of figured he wouldn't be in it that much, because they even showed in the trailer, like, I can't go up against Grindelwald, and I'm not going to get into anything, because I'm going to try to give no spoilers in this movie, which is going to be hard. Um, but, yeah, I totally understood that, but every scene he was in, he was, you know, captivating as Dumbledore, and I loved him. Um, now let's move on to what the whole plot is about. The whole plot can be summed up by, you know, everyone, Grindelwald is recruiting followers, and at the same time, he's trying to, you know, acquire, uh, Credence. Because Credence survived. Um, that is really the whole movie. And the whole movie is also... And people kind of didn't like that, you know, New and Tina and Queenie and Jacob. They all, you know, our main four characters. They didn't really do that much. But at the same time, they really did. Because they all chose sides. That's the thing. The whole movie was about showing Grindelwald and, uh, you know, how captivating he is and how much of a silver tongue he is and how he can talk to anyone and make them really you know see you know kind of hypnotize them into joining his cause and that's what I liked about Grindelwald it's not that you know like Voldemort he kind of you know reigns out of fear he he's very captivating he's a really good speaker he just he's kind of like a politician you know, he can talk you into doing just about anything and going along with the message, even though it's not really what he's going after. And then, um, you know, the whole movie is basically about Newt having to choose a side between, you know, is he going to be with Grindelwald, is he going to be against it, or is he going to side with the Beast? There's three sides to this. 
and it's about everyone choosing sides. So it's really, you know, the stuff they're going about. They're trying to figure out who Credence is, and then they're also, um, you know, along that whole art or, you know, plot line, they're having to figure out what side they're going to be on, which I thought was done really well. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Of course, there are some subplots that I don't think that really panned out and was kind of a waste, like the whole uh, Lita Lestrange, I think that's her name. Uh, I don't really quite get her whole subplot. Maybe there's a meaning behind it in the future films, because at the same time, this movie kind of is, you can tell throughout the whole movie, it's setting up for what's to come, which I'm okay with, because... You know, they had their own thing. They expanded the world. We got to see new creatures. We got to see a circus. Uh, we got to see the pairs um, um, ministry of magic. And we got to see how the American ministry, the London ministry, and the Paris ministry all kind of worked together uh, to further their whole, you know, criminal activities, you know, catching criminals and stuff like that. So I thought that was really nice. Um... Yeah, this movie, it just expanded the world. It had a really good um, story of, you know, setting up everything to come in the next three films and also um, having, you know, character dilemma and what how the characters are really like. Because in the first one, we just saw them all, you know, happy and kind of going about things and trying to catch these creatures and just enjoying themselves while doing it, but at the same time, trying to find credence. Because, honestly, Fantastic Beast 1, Fantastic Beast, Where to Find Them, uh, I like that film. It's not my favorite Harry Potter film. It's actually probably my least favorite, you know, film in this f series. Just because um, I just didn't like the whole um, Credence mom, like all that storyline. I kind of thought that was wasted or, you know, a, done. It was shown too much in that movie. I get that it's all for Credence, but at the same time, it's just, it, they just kept going with it and it just got drawn out. I would have much rather see new and, you know, them going after the creatures and then coming, you know, helping Credence out, but just not needing to see all of that, it just got drawn out to me. But this one, this one is far better than the first one, in my opinion. Uh, I really did love this one. I have no faults with it, except for the whole subplot deal and how it's not really, you know, some of them don't pan out yet. I think they will eventually. Um, also, there's just, there's so much to talk about this. There's so much more that we could I could talk about. I could go and, if you'd like a spoiler review, I would gladly do one. Uh, I need to see it probably one more time and really get make sure I didn't miss anything at all. But that's just me. Uh, I just, I feel like if I was going to do something like that, I need to make sure I didn't miss anything. So, yeah, um, you know, I can do one of those. I could get a podcast going of maybe some friends coming over and we talking about it because... I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I don't know if y'all know that. But, yeah. Um, I love this film. I don't really have any faults with it other than the subplots. And even those I'm okay with um, looking past. Uh, also, Grindelwald, Johnny Depp's opening scene in this movie was fantastic. Uh, that's by far one of the best scenes out of all the Harry Potter films, in my opinion. I just, I really loved it. I loved, you know, the way this film looked. I love the cinematography. I love uh, the way David Yates directed this movie and edited it. I think that he was trying new things with camera techniques and stuff like that. I really did love all that. I just, I love this movie. I don't know what to tell y'all. Uh, I know it's getting mixed reviews, and I don't know why. Uh, if you're a Harry Potter fan, it shouldn't be that hard to, you know, uh, not follow. But at the same time, if you I haven't read the book, so maybe you know some stuff that they're changing the lore of a little bit. And if they are, let me know down in the comments. But I just watched the movies, so I'm just going off of what I know from the movies. And I can't see anything that they're changing the lore of. But maybe I missed it, and that's why I need a second viewing. But yeah, uh, I'm going to give Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, an A+. 
I really did. I love this movie. Uh, and I would really love to hear what you guys thought about it. Uh, what do you think, you know, is to come? What did you think of the very ending of finding out who Credence was? That blew me away because I had no clue um, about that. I never put two and two together. But, yeah. Um, also, do you know who Grindelwald is more than uh, what they're showing in these movies? Do you read Potter more? Have you read up on some of the stuff? Because I know that, you know, um, Grindelwald and Dumbledore were actually lovers. And that's part of the reason why he can't fight them. Yeah. Uh, just let me know all down in the comments what you guys thought of it. Did you like how they portrayed Nagini and giving her a backstory? Just so much that we could talk about. And also the special appearance from the guy that uh, they talked about in one of the Harry Potter films. I'm not going to say who, but... Yeah, uh, just so much to talk about. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this movie. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, also, you know, down in the comments or description, I'll have links to my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages for the channel. You can click on over there for, you know, updates on personal life. Things I might be thinking about working on, movies I might be going to see and reviewing, like uh, Robin Hood is coming out next week. Also, um, you know, Wreck-It Ralph 2, Creed 2, uh... And I want to say that new Hugh Jackman movie, if it comes to my theater. I'm not sure if it will, but if it does, I'll definitely see that. Which one of those would you like a review of? Uh, let me know down in the comments. I will do a review of maybe one or two of those, but not all of them. Uh, you know, if you have any new TV shows you'd like me to review, let me know. Um, or if you just have any movies I, you think I should check out and maybe you'd want a review of, even if it's an older movie. You know, I'm up for anything. Um, would you... You know, Thanksgiving's coming up, so hopefully you guys uh, have a good Thanksgiving. And if you're traveling, be safe. Uh, Black Friday is Thanksgiving night, so would y'all like a like vlog-type deal out? Let me know down in the comments if that would be something I'd like to see of me just going out and shopping and hanging out with some friends and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, um, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button because it really does help me out. Also, share it with all your friends, family, everyone that you know, and any people that you don't know. And hit that subscribe button for more awesome content like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.